Hey guys, welcome back to React.js Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Tutorial Series. So look at here, this is the page that we are going to design in next video. In this video, we will just create a component and we add a route to the component and we add a new button to the employees list page. Once we click on add, but add employee button, then we should able to navigate to this page. Alright, in next video, we will see how to design this add employee form and in further videos we will see how to submit the add employee form uh, to the rest api so we make a rest api call we send the form data to the rest api and rest api internally store a form data in a mysql database and let's go to the components folder within the components folder let's create a new file called create the employee component dot jsx all right guys we have created a new file within a file let's go ahead and let's create a component let's use react snippets to quickly create a react component i'm going to use rcc react snippet command this will create a react class component hit enter so look at here all right now what we'll do we'll configure a routing for this component go to the apps app.js file and look at here in previous video we have configured a router now let's go ahead and let's create a one more route for create employee component let me quickly copy this route and paste it here and whenever we hit the url like localhost colon 3000 slash add employee then add employee component will get rendered for example let's say add employee so this is our path and whenever we hit this path in a browser we are going to render create employee component all right got it it's pretty simple right let me delete this list comp list employee component element this is not required because we have already configured the routes delete this and save the file we'll add a button over here that is add employee button and once we click on add employee button that should navigate to the create employee component let's go back to the vs code id and let's add a button over here let's go to the list employee component and here let's create a button let's create a div class name and then just your bootstrap css class name that is a row inside a this div just create a button look at here i just added a add employee button here here you can see sum up the uh, you know bootstrap css classes for the button and this is the event handler so whenever i click on this button this event handler method will get called and this event handler method we need to bind inside a constructor so I'm not going to cover event handling in react so please spend few minutes to understand how the event handling works in the react all right let's bind this method in a constructor so this is basically uh, there are basically different ways to bind uh, event handlers in react but this is the recommended way to bind a uh, event in a constructor let's create add employee method now what we'll do whenever we click on add employee button then we should navigate to the create employee component right for that let's configure uh, a routing over here let's say this dot props dot 
history dot push and then slash add hyphen employee whenever we click on an employee button then this route will get called and according uh, corresponding to this route we have configured a component called create employee component open app.js file you can able to see here whenever we hit this url in browser then this component will get rendered right so this is what we have configured over here so you might be wondering what is this history and uh, how it works all right great let me quickly explain you we have configured a react router in app.js file right so react router basically maintains a history object and this history object has all the mappings of the routings okay and react router pass passes history object to each router as a props so we can access history object using props so react router basically uh, provides history object uh, for each route uh, through props and we can get history object using props and this history object makes us manually control the history of the browser okay i hope you got the idea how we can configure or how we can redirect to the respective components using history object and we basically get a history object from the props and we can just configure the url like this let me go to the create employee component and inside that let's me write some text over here or something like the employee form and let's save this file and let, let's go back to the browser and just click on add employee button let me refresh first and click on add employee button uh, it is not a redirecting to the add employee page right so let me see what is the issue let's go to the routing configuration so here basically we need to add a extract exact attribute because if you don't specify exact then routing will try to uh, you know invoke the all the components so whenever you want to you know navigate to the uh, particular component and mention exact here okay exact so it means that you are re redirecting to the exact route okay now let's save this file let's go back to the browser and you, you will be able to see the employee form so we have successfully navigated to create employee component thank you guys for watching feel free to subscribe my youtube channel i will see you guys in the next video